Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the non-traditional graduation ceremony of the class of fall of 2019. We are delighted that you're with us tonight to celebrate your, your, <laughs> your wonderful accomplishments. Calvin Coolidge once said, all growth depends upon activity. There is no development physically or intellectually without effort, and effort means work. You are here tonight because you understand the meaning of hard work and what it takes to grow and develop despite the odds. We are honored to share this important and happy time with you, your friends, and your family. Once again, I would like to thank you for being here tonight, and I think we all deserve to give you a round of applause. So tonight, we will have a, our keynote speaker. She is the Director of Student Activities, and my boss, <laughs> uh, Dr. Krista Coffey. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. Great. OK, at any point you can't, just wave at me, and I'll uh, try to enunciate and project. Uh, so I've had the privilege of working with on-campus student services for about eight and a half years now. And uh, I, so I have the uh, honor of being here with you tonight as a result. Uh, originally, Dr. Elizabeth Wythe, who is our Vice President for Student Affairs, was supposed to be our speaker. Uh, but unfortunately, as you can imagine, with a lot of graduation ceremonies happening this weekend and tonight, uh, she unfortunately has to be in some other places. So uh, you are lucky, or unlucky, <laughs> in that you get me instead. Uh, so, on behalf of Dr. Witt and the University of North Texas, I just want to congratulate you uh, and uh, welcome you tonight here uh, for making it to this point. Um, today we're going to celebrate your success. So this weekend we actually have over 3,500 graduates of the University of North Texas. And we have chosen specifically to honor you because you are the ones who have endured special and diverse circumstances to get to this point. So collectively, you all are parents, uh, you are so mothers and fathers, some of you are grandmothers and grandfathers, uh, some of you are sons and daughters, your spouses and partners, you have been uh, either current, served in the military and or current uh, active duty, uh, you've worked <coughs> part-time or full-time, uh, you've taken classes either sporadically, maybe full-time, maybe 100% <coughs> online, uh, some of you commute to campus from very far away, uh, especially when you have to deal with this traffic on I-35. You understand <laughs> the pain that comes with that. And so much more. So many other characteristics that we could say that you all collectively uh, meet. So you're frankly an inspiration to myself and you're an inspiration to everybody here. And while they'll never admit it to the other students who couldn't be here today who are maybe are more traditional students. Uh, so we're glad you decided to pursue your education here at the University of North Texas. Now for some of you, I can imagine that uh, college has been one of the easiest things you've had to do in your life. Some of you, it's been the most difficult thing you've had to do. And at times you've probably wondered if you'd be able to balance uh, work, uh, life, as well as school. And in the end you did, uh, likely with, with a mixture of happiness, frustration, fear, and hopefully today, pride. Uh, so in thinking about what I wanted to say to you today, I had a really tough time because I was not a non-traditional student in college. And so I was not sure how I would connect to your story. Uh, so uh, what I decided to do instead is turn to the power of the internet. And I found this uh, story that I hope that does connect with what you're feeling right now. And it's actually a commencement speech from a student, a non-traditional student, uh, by the name of Kendra Davies, who went to Rollins College and graduated in the fall of 2016, so not that long ago. And so I'm gonna read a slightly abridged version uh, to you now. My fellow graduates, honored guests, administrators, and staff, it's a privilege and an honor to stand before you today. <coughs> I do not believe my story is entirely unique. If uh, I know I am not alone in this room, and that my story represents some of you or someone you love and our stories are seldom shared on these platforms because statistically, we do not make it here. Like some of you, it's really my past that makes this day so extraordinary. 16 years ago, I was a high school dropout. I struggled with addiction. 
I was a selfish and sick person who thought very little of the world or community and even less about myself. When I registered at uh, Valencia Community College nearly eight years ago, I'd never finished anything. I believe they call it a non-traditional student, <coughs> which I've come to realize is a euphemism for older, focused, and here on purpose. It's been anything but a straight line or an easy path. During my college career, I've been a mother, a full-time employee, a part-time employee, a laid-off employee, an unemployee, a wife, an ex-wife, and most recently, a fiancé and an entrepreneur. Really, I'm just another student dealing with competing priorities. If you were to ask me how I got here, I would say that the journey began at least 16 years ago, and the themes have been <coughs> growth, grace, and grit. Growth happens outside the comfort zone, and so by definition, it is uncomfortable. In my own experience, I've seldom had great joy without equally great, awful, and messy pain. In fact, each of the things I am proudest of in my life started with an impossibility, something I did not think could happen or that I did not think I was capable of doing. A short list of things that I'm sure you all can relate to, and I'm sure you can, is going back, going back to college, passing college algebra, kind of, statistics twice, reading Plato, with the help of a dictionary, of course, and being the first in my family to earn a bachelor's degree. Growth is building up your tolerance for failure and risk. It's not just uh, in those things that are graded or measured. It has already happened for you many times in life and will continue far beyond today. It happened every time the odds were stacked against you, when even the people who love you shared your doubts. It happened in every moment you decided to look at the gremlins of your mind that said, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you're not blank enough. And then you replied, maybe, but I'm gonna try anyway. So if what you want to do next in your life is write a book, get a PhD, be an actress, start a business, our own combined experience indicates it's often only a bit of willingness and a single small step outside of your comfort zone that stands between you and the thing that you want. The rest is grace and grit. In my experience, grace is often Grace is often something you don't know you need until you get it. My mother and I had a pretty rocky relationship for the first half of my life, but when I hit rock bottom and burned all the bridges I had, she was there as usual. Now, although I often felt behind in my life, my mother would always tell me, you are right on time. As I look around and see our family and friends fill the space, thank you for your grace. Going back to school is a decision that affects everyone around us. <coughs> It's possible to do this without support, but it's so much easier with it. If you are all anything like my family, you made it possible for your graduate to actually get to class. You watched the kids. You covered uh, uh, for us when we missed dance recitals and games. You gave us a place to live so that we wouldn't have to drop out again just to make ends meet. You worked harder so we could focus on our education. Finally, when we wanted to quit, it was nothing short of your grace that reminded us that we were stronger, smarter, and braver than we knew. You all have carried us, sometimes kicking and screaming, to the finish line. Without you, we would not be here. To my people and to all of the friends and family who know and understand what I'm talking about, I say thank you. Grit is defined as courage and resolve, strength of character. In the field of positive psychology, Grit correlates to success twice as much as IQ. In short, growth leads to grit. Whether you realize it up to now or not, your act of showing up is grit. I've watched some of you face your worst fears of speaking in public and felt deep admiration as you spoke your words, voice shaking and so brave. Some of you took a dance class in the fall because you wanted an easy class. Then you learned you'd have to perform in the fall dance showcase. I attended those performances and I watched in awe as you faced your biggest fear of being seen. I watched your bodies of all sizes and shapes and ages make something beautiful and rhythmic. You, my friends, are a bold and gritty bunch and I've been inspired by uh, what I've seen you do. So keep showing up. It facilitates your growth and is a beacon of light for anyone struggling to find their own grit. For me, this being here on stage is a miracle. It defies all the odds. It is the culmination of my life choices to try despite the voices who said I couldn't uh, or that I wasn't smart enough. 
I want to implore you, because your life is also made up of a million little choices to try. So share your story, because you are bold and wonderful, and someone else desperately needs to hear that what you have done is possible. So if you're trying to downplay this huge accomplishment into something that's not a big deal, or if you have family that isn't celebrating you, and I know that what that feels like too, know that today we celebrate you. To this graduating class, for your growth, your grace, your grit, I ask that you not play small today or ever again. Whether it's taken you a, a couple extra years, or if you're on the extended decade, decade plan like me, in the words of my mother, I want to assure you, you are right on time. So I'm really not sure there's too many other things that somebody could say that could capture the true spirit of the diversity and the experience of the experiences that our non-traditional students have in college today, uh, quite like Kendra did. So, uh, you know, it's a really exciting time to be a part of UNT, be, to be connected to UNT. In the last several years, hopefully most of you know, we've be become a tier one research university, which is amazing. Uh, this fall, we had the largest, and you've noticed this, I'm sure, the largest freshman class and the largest uh, overall enrollment that we've ever had before. Um, our students and faculty are winning international, national and international awards and competitions in not only business and science, but also things like art fellowships, art awards, uh, things that are really putting UNT on the, on the map. Many of our athletic teams, uh, like soccer and volleyball, are doing really well and have done really well in their uh, competitions, and hopefully basketball will continue to do well. Um, and these are just a few of the things that bring not notoriety to the university and, and help increase the value of your degree. So even though you're graduating now, that doesn't mean we don't want to ever see you back here. It doesn't mean you have to leave. I hope you'll bring your families back to homecoming or other games, because um, you're now part of a community, an alumni community, that's over 216,000 strong. So bring your, bring your families back to campus, maybe after some recovery time, go to grad school. <laughs> Take a time off, though. Uh, so in closing, I want to make sure that we also celebrate your family and friends, just like Kendra talked about in her speech. <coughs> Uh, some of who, you know, some of them were able to make it today, others it was a little more challenging, so couldn't be here today. So on behalf of the university, I want to thank all the family and friends who were there to support our graduates today. So not only, you know, we gave a, a round of applause to our graduates earlier, but now I'd like to give a round of applause to our family and friends who have supported us along the way. So, thank you all again for being here, um, and go Mean Green. I will now be calling the graduates to receive a lapel pin from our office. Mercedes Janelle Toby. Eric E.J. Baggett. Thank you. Ruben <laughs> Arca 
<laughs> Our cow. Margaret J. Clark. Linda Gisak. And those are our non-traditional graduates of the class of 2019. So so much for coming tonight. That is the end of our ceremony, but it's just the beginning for you on your next journey uh, as alumni of UNT. I'm an alumni of UNT, and I'm so happy to see my fellow alumni as of this weekend. <laughs> so for the rest of the program tonight, we have food, we have drinks, Scrappy's there, we're going to do pictures, um, and just enjoy yourselves. We also have um, some representatives from the Career Center Office of Orientation and Transitions and the um, Graduate School, Toulouse Graduate School. So if you're wanting to talk with them, they have some information, some swag, uh, so definitely feel free to visit them. They're outside of the doors near the elevator. Um, well, congratulations again and have a great night. <laughs>